Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu, and welcome to Tutorial Thursday. Before I show you how to draw and color this super cute rainbow cupcake, I'm excited to tell you that I now have Fun to Draw Food Apps Collection 2. Now you can learn how to draw and color even more easy, cute, and fancy food anytime, anywhere on your Apple devices. These food characters are also from my Fun to Draw Food eBooks. In case you haven't got my Fun to Draw eBooks yet, you should definitely check out my Fun to Draw Food Apps Collection 2 characters today. Alright, to start, just tap the app icon, tap Start Now, we're in Collection 1. You can see down here that we have different icons for Collection 1 and Collection 2. So let's go to Collection 2. Okay, now we're in Collection 2, tap that again, and these are all the different characters in Collection 2. Just like all my other Fun to Draw apps, the first character comes for free, and the rest are available for purchase. Click the download link in the video description and you'll see all of my Fun to Draw apps. Go ahead and try them out today. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to Fun to Draw and color this very cute rainbow cupcake step by step. This video is part of my Fun to Draw Easy Drawings playlist. For more detailed drawings, you can see this playlist or my anime manga playlist. I hope my different art can help your drawing in different ways. Okay, to start, I'm going to draw a little circle on top. like that. Let's make this circle look shiny with a little highlight on the side. And now I'm going to turn this into a juicy cherry just by drawing a stem like that. Okay, now for the actual cupcake, let's start with a layer underneath the cherry. So I'll draw a little curve and I'll go around the cherry to make the first layer of the cupcake. There we go. Right now let's draw a few more little curves going down the sides of the cupcake. And as I go down, I'm going to make sure that the cupcake will be wider at the bottom than at the top. Okay, so here's another curve. So we have one curve, now that's the second one, three, four, five, and let's do one more, six. All right, so we have one side, now let's go on to the other one. So this is curve number two on this side. Now let's do number three, like that. Number four. Five. And then the last one would be six. Okay. So now you can see everything's kind of sloping down on either side. And let's close this gap to make this the basic shape of the cupcake. I'll make it slightly round for a round look. Okay, so just close that off. Okay, so once we have this kind of like a triangle shape for the cupcake, let's go into the details inside. So I'm going to start at the bottom and let's make this a happy cupcake just by drawing a little letter U for the mouth. It's pretty happy. Let's make the mouth really open like that. Very cheerful look. Okay. Once we have the mouth, let's go into some big fun to draw eyes. So I'm drawing the curved cheek lines on either side, like that. And then for each eye, let's go up and I'll dot the spot right around there. So I know the height of the fun to draw eye. And from this dot, Let's just draw a curve going down towards the cheek line I drew. Okay, so like that. Let's make that a little bit taller. And then go down the other side as a curve. Let's draw one more curve for the side of the eye. 
All right, and now let's shade in this area. Okay. Once we have that, let's go in here. So from here, just go up a little bit, dot the spot. Use that to form a curve and then another curve on the other side. So once you have this round triangle, just draw one more curve for the side of the eye. Shade it in. Okay. Now we have the front to draw eyes, except for the pupils. So let's add those in. Let's start with this one. So I'll draw a curve, come down like that. For a highlight, let's draw a little curve in there, like an oval, to make it look extra shiny. And to shade the funny draw eye, I like to start with a diagonal line, like that. Let's shade in this area underneath the highlight. And to complete the shading, I'll just draw a couple more lines. So here's one, like that. And then I'll draw another one. And maybe one more very, very small short one in there. Okay, so we have one fun to draw eye all done. And now for the other side, let's draw another curve for the adorable pupil. Here's the other highlight. And then the shading. Okay. Keep it up, fun of drawers. You're doing great. So we have this. Let's just shade this area in. And then I'll draw the three little lines to complete the shading. There. Okay, so we have the face all done. I'm just going to go into these curves and make them just slightly longer. So it looks like they are wrapping around the surface of the cupcake, just a little bit more. And this will also help with the coloring which is coming up. Alright, so we have the cupcake. Now we need to draw a nice little base for it. I want to make this a little bit fancy looking. So right here underneath the bottom line of the cupcake, I want to draw a little wavy design that's part of the actual cup. So here I start with a little curve and I'll just continue that around the underside. Okay, let's draw one more. Okay, once we have this little nice fancy design, then I want to go down. And let's dot the spot right around there. So I'll draw a little slanted line going down. There we go. Now from this point, I want to go around as a curve. Like that. And then I'll draw another line coming down. So now I have the cup part of the cupcake. Okay, so once we have this, let's make a little simple design inside this area so it doesn't look too bare. I'm going to go with stripes. So I'm just drawing a little line going down, and let's make a couple more. Okay, let's do one more right here. Okay, so we are done drawing our cute little cupcake character. And now I'm going to show you how to color it step by step. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to color this cute cupcake step by step. For this tutorial, I'm going to use my Crayola markers because I think many of you would have the same or similar markers at home. So you just use what you have. Okay, I'm going to start with my red and I'll color around the outline of the highlight in the cherry and the outside part of the cherry, like that. 
I like to do this first before I actually color the whole thing in because I feel if I outline the edges, it helps me stay within the lines when I color. And then I'll just go inside like that. But if you have a little bit of color going outside the lines, please don't worry about that. I think as long as we're all having fun creating art and drawings, that's the most important thing. All right, next up is my orange Crayola marker. So this orange will go underneath the cherry for the rainbow color. Okay, so I have this part outlined and now I'll just go in like that. Okay, I'll put that back. Next is my yellow. So this is a very nice bright yellow. And for this area, because I didn't draw it in the drawing, I'm going to outline the edge of the yellow. So I'm just gonna draw the layer like that with the color. I think that makes it look much nicer, just with the color like that. And then now I'm just outlining the other lines around the edges. Okay. Once I have everything kind of outlined, go into the yellow and just fill it in. Okay. So we have the yellow all done. Now I have my very bright green Crayola marker. And similar with the yellow, I'll go into this area. So I'm drawing a curve to show the bottom part of the green layer in the cupcake. Now I'll go around. Look how bright that is. I love that color. Okay, so I'm going around here. Let's go around the other side. And I do want to go just below the yellow so I know where the yellow ends. And then that way it's going to help me color the green within the green boundary. Okay, so just like that. It's good you guys follow me step by step because not only are you going to learn how to draw that particular item in the tutorial, you're also going to learn lots of different drawing techniques and coloring tips too, just like this. All right, so we have the green all colored. Okay, next up is my blue. So I have this nice light blue and I'll draw this area. Now notice I'm leaving a little bit of a gap between the lines of the eyes and I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so I'm going and I'm leaving a little gap too. Because I want the eyes to show up in the drawing, I would like to leave a little bit of white around front of your eyes like this so that way I think it shows much nicer against the color so I'll just leave a little bit of white around here I'll go underneath the green and then I'll go around the sides for the blue. All right, so once we have that, let's just go ahead and color in this area. Okay, so I'm just going above the eyes. Try not to color in the white areas I left between the blue and the eyes. That color in everything else. All 
right, that's such a nice blue. Okay, so once we have the blue all done, next in the rainbow should be like a darker blue. But this is what I found out. In case you don't have a darker blue, you can use the same blue and to make it darker, you just need to go over the layer a few more times. And this is how I'm going to do it. So first, let's just draw the outer edges. So again, I'm just following this white area for the eye. And I'm going down here for the layer of the blue. And then I'll draw this bit here. And I'll leave a little white space around the eyes like that and like that. Okay. I'll get these sides in there as well. All right. So first let's just shade it all in again like before. But this is going to be just the first layer for this part of the cupcake. So going in the middle, I'm going to draw another edge and I'm going to make it quite dark so that you can see where the first blue is and the second layer of blue. So that's what we're going to achieve with this layer. just by going over the layer a few more times. Okay, so the first layer is done. And now let's just go over it. So just like what I did here with the line, just go over it again and again until it starts to look darker. Okay, I'll just fill in this gap here. Okay, look at that. So just by going over this area, now you can really see the difference between the original blue that I had and the darker blue, which we made with just going over it a few times. So let's do the same thing on this side. So this is my second layer. So that's quite dark now compared to what I had before. And then just repeat for the other side of the cupcake. Okay, I think that looks very pretty. Okay, so we have the darker blue in the rainbow cupcake. Okay, I'll put that back. And now for the final layer in the cupcake, I'm gonna use this very pretty purple color. So let's color in just the outline. Look how bright that is, I love that. A color around the outlines first. It's going around the bottom that. And now for the eyes, I do want to leave a little white around the eyes in this layer as well. So I have the little lines right here and also the cheek lines. I do like those cute little cheeks. So let's preserve those details by drawing the outline like that. So you have a little white in between. Let's do the same on this side. Okay, like that. And then around the cheeks, there we go. And then here comes the line under the blue area. Okay, so now that everything's outlined, go ahead and color in this very pretty purple color.
okay around the mouth let's just go around the curve like that and around the upper curve Okay, and then just keep going. Just keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Okay, we're almost done. Coloring with the purple. Okay, excellent everyone. Keep going. So we have the basic cupcake all colored. Now for the facial details. I want the mouth to be a very bright pink. So I have this lovely pink Crayola marker. And I'll just fill the mouth in. There we go. Very pretty. And for the eyes, I do want some contrast with the blue. This is a very nice dark blue, so I want a very nice bright color in the eyes. And I think I'll choose my bright green for that. Ooh, look at that. Look how bright they are. So we have the brilliant green eyes all colored in. Okay, good job, everyone. So we have that. And now let's go into the bottom part of the cupcake. For this little fancy bit, I'll use my pink again for some color variation. So go into the different outline areas and then above just go across, there we go, and then color it in. All right. For this area down here, I think it'll be fun to repeat some of the rainbow colors. So I'm going to start with this section first. I have my red again, and I'll fill it in with the red. And if you guys like to learn how to draw and color even more cute fun to draw food, you can check out my fun to draw food collection one and collection two and my fun to draw food apps, because they're going to show you how to draw all kinds of very cute, easy, detailed, and fancy food through the different levels. Okay, now I have my orange. So you can get the orange in there. Just like that. Okay, outline it and then just fill it in. Okay, now it's time for the bright yellow again. Going into the green. Okay. And if you guys want to learn how to shade your characters as well, my Fun and Draw Level 2 and Level 3 will show you how to shade your Fun and Draw characters. So then that's going to make your characters look more dimensional. Okay, last section. So I'm going to use my blue and I'll just outline it like this and then fill it in. Okay, this looks awesome. So colorful and so cute. Good job everyone and please let me know how you like this video. Like and subscribe so you won't miss new videos I have every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. There you go. Many of you have been asking me to draw myself. I think I'll be fun to draw. I'll do that on a Fun Friday in the near future. Check back often to see. For tomorrow's Fun Friday video, see my first Travel with the Artist video. I'll see you then. Learn how to draw and color more beautiful cartoons with my Fun to Draw ebooks and my Fun to Draw apps. 
They make great gifts for birthdays and holidays. Links are in the video description.